This is a short piece in praise of autumn flowering camellias. And all autumn flowering camellias are best personified in Camellia sasanqua. Camellia sasanqua first comes into flower in the first days of October and flowers on weather permitting into uh, early November. The flowers don't all come out at once, they're not a huge display and they're not huge flowers, but they're certainly something to liven up a drabish autumn day. And these plants that we're looking at here um, have been here for 120 years against the side of the castle. Uh, they, they're perfectly hardy, but this is quite a sheltered position. Uh, we clip them and clip off the new growth so you can shape them up into the nice rounded shapes that you see here. This particular one is just the pure white single Sasanqua and we'll go on to look at the other colours of the old original Sasanquas and then we'll go on and look at some of the more improved and bred forms of Sasanqua with very much larger flowers. Here we're looking at a single pink flowered Sasanqua, Sasanqua rosia. And because it's a nice sunny day today, you can still see the odd fly and wasp uh, seeking to pollinate these flowers in the sun. The wasps are of course close to going into dormancy and dying. And this is their, really their last hurrah on these beautiful tiny pink flowers. And here's a third form of Camellia sasanqua rosia with rather larger flowers. And on a still day, one of the great attractions of Camellia sasanqua is that it has a scent. And it's not a scent that you notice sniffing at a flower, it's a scent you notice uh, when you're some distance away on a still day. It's a very delicate perfume, but something that really makes Camellia sasanqua one of those things that's more than just a flower and very attractive thing in the garden. If you think about it, very few camellias actually have flowers because they flower away at a time when there are no insects. And when you look here, you can clearly see the insects in, in great profusion in the sun, trying to find a bit of uh, nectar on these flowers. And we're still just about in season for flies, whereas most camellias flower at a time when we're not. So now we'll move on and look at some of the Camellia sasanqua hybrids, which are named and which have rather bigger and more interesting flowers to show you the variation the Camellia Sasanqua can bring. So this is Camellia Sasanqua Narumigata. And as you can see, a much bigger, much more impressive flower than the old original Sasanquas, which are 120 years old. This uh, Camellia comes into flower at the same time uh, in this case, usually the first week of November. The buds have this lovely purple, pinkish purple or reddish, depending on your point of view, um, outer covering to their petals. And yet when the flower opens full out, it appears to be white. But if you look behind uh, the petals, you'll see that the pinkish or pinkish red colouring is still very much there. These flowers carry on for three or four weeks, weather permitting. Again, you can see the odd fly enjoying itself in the late autumn sun. But here is a Sasanqua camellia, which really you know, is one of the most popular and one of the most popular for a very good reason. If you compare the size of the flower to the size of my hand, you'll see just how large a flower we're talking about in comparison to the tiny flowers we were looking at earlier. Is there a scent? Yes, there is, uh, but again, a very delicate scent that you get wafting on the air and not something you smell close up putting your nose in the flower. An excellent plant, 
quite a different habit, much more erect and upright growing. This plant, as you can see, is about eight to 10 feet tall, and it's only been in the ground about a similar number of years. We'll now move on to look at some different colored Camellia sasanquas, just to give you a flavor of what we're, what we're really talking about here. So here we've got a double flowered Camellia sasanqua, which is a further improvement on all the other ones we've seen before. This is Camellia sasanqua dazzler, and you can see where it got it deservedly got its name. It has wonderful double flowers and is fully out in October. It's a very floriferous tree here growing up to about eight or ten feet and absolutely covered in flowers. Quite a few of them were blown off in a recent gale as you can see with all the petals on the ground but there are still plenty of flowers on the tree and a really impressive uh, variety of Sasanqua this is. Just for a change here's a variegated leaf Camellia Sasanqua. Camellia Sasanqua variegata you can see the lovely pink flecking in the in the petals which looks extremely nice against the outer yellowish white variegations on the leaves. Not everyone likes variegation in, in, in any plant so we won't dwell here any further. <laughs>